Okay, so um, we're working on adjusting the float height. Um, the first thing you want to do is position the carbs upside down. Um, and as you can see, what we're going for is an angle on the, the carbs so that when I let go of these floats, it will, the tang on the float uh, arm will rest on the inside pin of the float valve. Um, this pin is spring-loaded, so we just want it to rest on that pin and not depress it. If you can see, when I push on the on the floats, it's actually going to start to depress that pin. Okay. So right now I just have it resting on the spring-loaded pin and it, if I push on the on the floats, you can see it it's moving the pin. And when I let go of it, it's fully the, the pin is fully extended, but the tang is just and the tang is just resting on it. And that's the starting position for measuring the float height. So we've already done our, uh, before we started on this, um, we had the, the carbs fully assembled and we did a, a float level test um, with the gas tank. Um, so we know that this carb here, number two, is within spec. Um, so we want to get the other three at the same height. So the first thing I'm going to do is take uh, a slide uh, square. Um, they actually make a, um, a float gauge, a plastic float gauge for this, but um, this seems to be working uh, with, with these cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure off of the, the seat the edge of the um, carb body to a point on the carb where I'm not pushing, I mean uh, a point on the float where I'm not pushing it in. And I'm going to just rest the flat edge of this on this bracket here and square it up against there. Now, as you can see, I'm actually moving the, the float a little bit when I square it up. So I will need to, you know, adjust this square out a little bit until, until it only touches it, but doesn't move it in. And then I'll take this, that measurement and transfer it. I know that this one is, is um, out of spec, so I'll take that measurement and transfer it to here. and the rest of them. Okay, there's that little spring inside the needle valve that we were talking about that the tang goes up and down on. You can get a better view of that when it's outside. That's cool. And there's the, the float off and we're trying to adjust the the tang on it. You can point out the tang. I already adjusted this but I, all, all I did was basically take the needle nose and bend it slightly, very slightly, because any slight movement is translates into big movements on the on the float itself. Exactly. Cool. All right, so here's our contraption for holding the uh, the uh, the carbs. Just got some made a PVC rack out of one and a half inch PVC, and then have these one and a half to one and a quarter rubber adapters 
that we used to clamp onto there. And now we're just leveling it up so we can do the float test, the fuel level test. Then we got the, we just used the gas tank here to run down to the fuel line. So we'll turn on the fuel there. Get some gas flowing in there. Then we got our uh, float height tube here with a little, from our vacuum pump kit, we had a little nipple or connector there that we can put into the drain hole and then we'll uh, open up the uh, the drain screw and see what our fuel level is. Ready? Yeah, we'll just make sure it turns easy. Yep. Let's see if we can get some fuel out of there. So there we go. Gotta get the air out. Tilt it up slightly. Yeah. Put a bit of air in here. I don't like that. Just want to drain some to the yeah. to the tank. So okay. So now that we've got the uh, now that we've got it all level and we've got the uh, the drain screw open you can see that the that the fuel level is right up there if you could point out where it's supposed to be it's see supposed that? to be in line with this mark see right see that here. mark right there in red we have it marked a little bit with red um, and you can see that that fuel height i'm the camera is giving you a little bit of a of a uh, of a deception here but from straight on it's exactly straight up and down with that mark.